we want to find the exact slope of the tangent line to the parametric curve, x equals six cosine t and y equals seven sine t at the point t equals pi over three radians. To find the slope of the tangent line at t equals pi over three radians, we need to evaluate dy dx at t equals pi over three, where because we have parametric equations, dy dx is equal to dy dt divided by dx dt. But before we find the slope of the tangent line, let's take a moment and find the point of tangency by evaluating the parametric equations at t equals pi over three. So x of pi over three will give us the x coordinate of the point of tangency and y of pi over three will give us the y coordinate of the point of tangency. X of pi over three is equal to six cosine pi over three and y of pi over three is equal to seven sine pi over three. Now to find these trig function values, we can use a reference triangle or the unit circle. We should recognize that pi over three radians is equal to 60 degrees. So if this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the 60 degree angle would be pi over three radians. And then from here, the short leg we can label one, hypotenuse two, and the long leg, square root three. And therefore, a cosine pi over three is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, and therefore, cosine pi over three is equal to one half. So the x coordinate would be six times one half, which equals three. And then for sine pi over three, we'd have the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which would be square root of three divided by two. So y is equal to seven times square root of three divided by two, or seven square root of three divided by two. Which means the point of tangency has coordinates three comma seven square root of three divided by two. Now as I mentioned earlier, we could have found these trig function values using the unit circle. We take a look at that just for a moment. Notice here at pi over three radians, x is equal to one half, which is the cosine function value, and y is equal to square root three divided by two, which is the sine function value. Now to help us plot this point, let's convert the y coordinate to a decimal approximation. The point of tangency would be approximately three comma six point zero six two. So looking at our curve, that would be this point here. So our goal is to find the slope of the tangent line at this point, which would be the slope of this line here. Now I also want to mention that as t increases, the curve would be traced in this direction, which is called the orientation of the curve. And now for the next step, we'll find dy dx, and then evaluate dy dx at t equals pi over three. So dy dx, is equal to, again, dy dt divided by dx dt. dy dt would be the derivative of seven sine t with respect to t, that would be seven cosine t. And dx dt is equal to the derivative of six cosine t with respect to t, that would be negative six sine t. Simplifying, we have negative seven six, and then cosine t divided by sine t is equal to cotangent t. And therefore, the slope of our tangent line would be dy dx evaluated when t equals pi over three, which would be negative seven six times cotangent pi over three. Looking at our triangle again, cotangent would be the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side, which would be one divided by square root of three. So we have negative seven six times one divided by square root three. So the exact slope of the tangent line would be negative seven divided by six square root three. Now if we rationalize this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root three, we could also express this as negative seven square root three divided by Square root three times square root three is three, so we have six times three or 18. 
So this would be the exact slope of the tangent line, which is also approximately negative 0 0.674. And now to finish, I did graph this tangent line with some software to be more accurate, which is graphed here. And we just found the slope of this tangent line is exactly negative 7 square root 3 divided by 18 if we rationalize the denominator, which is approximately negative 0 0.674. I hope you found this helpful.